for decades, uh, the U.S. has taken the lead in mediating and trying to resolve this conflict. But clearly, the U.S. has failed in doing that. A couple of times, it came close. But in the end, there was uh, no agreement. And uh, this current administration, I'm afraid, has really uh, ignored uh, the problem. For uh, They're talking now about the two-state solution. But for the past three years, since they came into the White House, uh, they did not start a serious negotiating process. In fact, the um, big picture shows that U.S. influence in the Middle East has declined over the past 10 years or so. And so I think the, uh, the U.S. at least needs a partner, needs some assistance. The uh, United Nations cannot function without the Security Council and the permanent five members, to be exact, agreeing on a solution and agreeing to implement it. I think the initiative that China took today at the United Nations was an excellent one. But even a mild resolution, like 27, 12, uh, well, uh, the U.S. Uh, abstained on that. So I think China, uh, which clearly has started playing a role uh, in mediation in the Middle East, needs to convince Washington to work together. Uh, China and the U.S. have been looking for ways to avoid a uh, dangerous uh, confrontation between them, right. the rivalry, and looking for ways to cooperate. I think this is a perfect opportunity, perhaps working behind the scenes, mm -hmm. to agree on something that they that together they could get the United Nations to implement.